it's always a challenge and every year you have to come up with something, right? You know, if you look at oil and gas companies, when we put out a TVC or a campaign, it's like, they're always so serious. So, we said, okay, the first thing we started off, we wanted to be on the lighter, fun side. And we did that a couple of years, and then now we thought, okay, let's try something different. With the inclusion of, of Lewis Hamilton, McCann Malaysia came back uh, with uh, several options to us, and we chose one which was, we thought, uh, represented the whole collaboration uh, uh, in, in a very strong and impactful manner. Together with our agency and the Petronas team, we decided to expand the storyboard further, hence the, the James Bond drama action-packed format for this TV commercial. The consideration that we had to put, take in mind was it was an overseas shoot right in the middle of the holiday period. We had to put all those things into consideration and try and manage it logistically and operationally from Malaysia to UK with our partners in UK from Petronas' side, from AMG side. So there's quite a fair bit of people involved. And cut, thank you. That was a good one. That was nice. I've been directing for close to 20 years and this is my dream job. Oh, nice shot, Kes. That's brilliant. That's in the film, mate. It's been an incredible, incredible journey. We've never put together a, a film on this kind of scale. We're working with some top talents. Jasmine, fantastic driver in the Formula 3.5. Once you say action, I thought I was James Bond. Action! Lewis Hamilton, I mean, he's one of the fastest men on earth on a racetrack. It can't get any better than that. We're here filming um, a new commercial for Petronas. Basically, McCann came up with a proposal to tell the story about liquid and metal. Liquid being Petronas, of course, and metal being AMG. AMG are, you know, the ultimate in cars, basically, in sports driving. So this combination of Petronas with AMG was a big thing to celebrate. That's what I love about it, that kind of synergy between the engineering that we create and, of course, that amazing amount of technology that goes into lubricating that, that equipment. This is my first real commercial with Petronas. They brought me in to do the really vital parts uh, uh, of the filming where, of course, they had, to have, they had to have me. Fortunately, I have a really good stunt double here. He's been doing my doubling for seven years now. Go, 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 go! And put action, action, action! It's a game of, of trying to lose a paparazzi. My teammate is helping me to avoid the paps, so he's kind of steering them off. I just had a text um, asking whether I could drive a truck, and I said, no. I've driven a truck before. I could never be a truck driver because the speed limit here is 56 miles an hour in Europe. I would fall asleep, for sure, it's too slow. Would you like to drive it? I said, yeah, sure. And I ended up here doing the scene, so it was pretty awesome. I've been driving this race truck, um, taking it places where it shouldn't really be going. Low trees and, you know, bridges and, and stuff, but it has been fun taking it off-road. They think it's me driving. They finally realise when he gets out of the car, it's him and not me. They were a bit upset because I wasn't Lewis. <laughs> Just another Malaysian boy. And I'm off somewhere else driving the truck, and then I reveal one of the Mercedes cars. The GLA 45 AMG. I saw the car and I thought, wow, that's fantastic. Uh, I've got to drive that. I have to say, the car's been brilliant. We tell the lubricant story, and then we take that story into the AMG section of the lab and combine Lewis into that, and he brings it all together. Let's not do too much action, just one, one moment, yeah, here we go. Lewis Hamilton is an absolute professional. He arrives on set, and he is very, very experienced, and he knows very, very quickly what the director is after. I have to say, I've really, really enjoyed working with Brad. He's very straightforward, he doesn't beat around the bush. Lewis generously giving us eight hours of his time to make sure that I got all the elements I needed of him in the, in the chase, how we tell the story of the roost of the two trucks. That was challenging as well. Lewis himself asked me, did I have everything we needed? And I said yes, but it was tough. It was something, you know, we almost needed a day and a half to do it, but we pulled it off. Got a great team of people, so I really feel that we can get a really good result out of this. It feels more like a movie than an advert. It's amazing to be a part of it. 
Well, our plan was to facilitate Brad with everything he needed to make the film really, really work. We had standard track and dolly situations and we had tracking vehicles. We had two helicopters. We had one called a picture ship, which we filmed, and a camera ship that we filmed from. It was like for me being able to do anything with camera. These guys were counter-tracking, booming, taking me down below tree lines and doing very nice lips. So what happens is that the camera guy is so in sync with the pilot, you can do anything you want. The shots are incredible. Brad, our director, said he wanted to get some sheep in there. So we managed to find a local farmer, complete with his crook, who had some sheep. We filmed them and it um, worked surprisingly well, really. Oh, that one's cute. She's cute. That one's cute on the left. The big change for me is we went from making an American-style action movie to a quintessential English movie, which, which is not so much smash bam it up. It's got a little bit of a giggle and a smile. <laughs> Brad really did a wonderful job. Crew's just been amazing. Roads were closed. Sheep crossed the road. So, you know, there's been lots of different types of challenges. Very big production. I think everyone's been very helpful from costumes to makeup to the set. A big round of applause to everyone. All right, I'm happy with that. Performance from Lewis, the shots that we've achieved out in the Aparazzi chase, the performance of our actors. It is a very, very interesting future for Petronas and EMG, and we're definitely looking forward to a Liquid and Metal Part 2. Thank you so much. I guess we'll only see that in 2015. I think next time we'll try and do something perhaps in the summer when there's a bit more sunshine and we're not all quite so cold. Job done. All right, guys. How's the commercial gone? It hasn't gone anywhere. We, we, just, we just walked down from the last shot. I'm pretty sure it's in the building, John. Do you know what? I don't know where it is. I think it's all here.